Are you trying to pass that usage testing practice test but you're still getting rejected? Stick around and I will give you some tips that can help you out to pass that test. Here we go. Hi, this is Pablo from A Journey to Freedom with Pablo and today I'm going to give you a couple tips that you can use during your practice test and user testing. A lot of people struggle with this, I struggle with this myself, and I got rejected multiple times trying to do this uh, practice test. But today I'm gonna give you a couple tips that you can use before, that you can even practice before you even take your practice test. So here we go. First, let's go to usertesting.com, right? And let's just read some of the, the resources and how this works, right? So the most important thing when it comes down to your testing is make sure that you are talking out loud and you always talking. A lot of people make the mistake of passing over some of the things and they, instead of just really express themselves, they start mumbling around. Like, let me give you, give you an example. Instead of saying boost your monthly income in your free time, they tend to do something like this. Boost your monthly income in your free time. Do not do that, right? They do not like that. They want to hear what your thoughts are, right? So we want to make sure that you have that mentality before you even try to apply. So let's go here. I want to hear what your thoughts are, right? So we want to make sure that you have that mentality before you even try to apply. So let's go here. Let's just put our email. After we have the email, we sign up, right? We go, we're, we're going to go through the process of supposedly, right, trying to apply to user testing. Again, I cannot apply myself because I already have an account and it goes against uh, the agreement. So we don't want to do that. Now, after you finish just doing all the uh, PayPal, connecting everything, making your profile, here's the thing. I'm going to give you some of the tips that you should be using for the user testing. Now, here's what you need to do. When you take the test, make sure there's no background sound. There's nothing that can just make you forget what your purpose of your test is. Because they can see that through the camera. And they, yes, they do check every test. There's people working in the in the back. This is not an AI uh, kind of uh, pre-test, let's call it like that, right? There's really people just checking out your video. Now, some of the tips that I would just recommend, when they tell you your first assignment, make sure that you're talking out loud. And make sure that you're literally describing everything, right? Everything. Now, I'll give you an example how. So let's pretend that this is your first test. And when they start recording, the first thing you have to say is, I'm here on the website. I can see here that the website has a logo. The logo looks very good. And I have here this says quick setup to enable your browser to record. You need to share access to your entire screen and microphone. You will stop sharing once you have finished giving feedback. Okay, now I'm going to click share. The reason you want to do it like that is because you want to just get accustomed to express how you feel. And that's what they're looking for. It doesn't matter how fast you do it or how long it takes you to do it. But if you have that alone, right, in your mind, that is going to be easier for them to pick up, all right? Now, the, ne the next tip, tip is to make sure that you're clear when it comes down to expressing yourself. Do not mumble. Do not mumble. Do not think that the way you're talking, because you can understand what you're saying, that they're going to understand it. Now, you have to go the extra mile. Make sure that you're showing your words correctly, right? That means that do not do, do not do what some of, of us did at the beginning. So, go like, oh, don't do that, right? You have to literally say things as it is. Also, my last tip, it will be make sure that you have a good microphone. 
the reason I want to say you better you better have a good microphone is because they want to see that you're willing to invest with a good equipment. You're willing to take this very serious, and they can tell when people don't want to take things seriously, right? So I will say, if you have a micro, if you don't have a microphone, I did it from my computer. That's fine, right? Well, make sure that you do it. Even your computer has a very good microphone. Now here we are ready to just start our user testing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have everything set up to a way where we can start doing the test. I'm gonna create here the chair. Go to the entire screen. Chair. Now we're gonna confirm that we have selected the screen. Click next. And here's very important. You see how this go up and down? Right? This is very important. This is one of the ways that determine if your equipment is correct. If you're talking and it doesn't go all the way up, that's a problem. Then they're, they're not gonna be able to accept your application. So I would suggest to get a, a microphone. So right now, this is very important. It says keep two tabs open. You will need to browse tabs, browser tabs to take a test. One is for instructions and the other one is for experience to use to give you feedback. Check out the animation to see